Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a C++ based application to generate some animations or to generate moving objects uh, in a, a program. Basically, the output of this program will be a moving circle in horizontal direction or a vertical direction. So, as far as the requirements of building this model is concerned, it requires C++ programming language and a Dave C++ ID on which graphics is supported as it is a computer graphics program and a graphics library which is the most important library to install to uh, run and uh, compile any uh, program of graphics and a suitable compiler that can support the graphics library. You can use any other code editor like code blocks turbo c++ i have specifically used dave c++ as it is uh, very well supported in graphics library so this particular dave c++ uh, editor supports uh, graphics library so as uh, i have specifically used dave c++ I, I, that's why i've mentioned specifically dave c++ or you can either use any of the code editors that can support graphics library and i have installed a suitable compiler on it so with that being said, let's get uh, started and good have a look on the code of this particular program. So this basically is a small code applet that will generate a moving circle in horizontal direction or a vertical direction. This particular init, init window is to uh, uh, basically declare the size of a widget upon which we need to see our moving object. Uh, and the most important thing is, as you can see that I have used this particular compiler. TDM GCC 4.9.2 32-bit release. So you need to use this, this particular compiler if you're using Dave C++ and you need to install graphics libraries uh, from uh, the particular zip files. And then at, accordingly, you need to extract that zip file and provide a particular path environment to generate this particular graphics library in the uh, Dave C++, which can be compiled and run accordingly. So basically this particular uh, code applet is a very small code applet and this, this particular code applet, applet will generate a moving circle in a horizontal direction. For example, we have initially used the functions like init window which generates a widget size. Basically, widget size means a particular widget of, of which size we need to uh, have a particular widget on which our moving circle will be uh, represented. Next, we have generated a for loop from for equal for int i equal to a zero i less than a thousand i plus plus we have gone till thousand as you can see that the widget size and the window size is thousand so this particular i will iterate till thousand and we have in, incremented i accordingly on, on each and every iteration this particular circle takes three arguments first is the x coordinate i can write it here for your convenience uh, the first argument is uh, x coordinate X coordinate. Uh, second argument is set. Second argument is Y coordinate. Uh, and the third argument is the radius of the circle. So we'll generate a circle of x uh, in a xy plane with a x coordinate of 100 y coordinate of 250 and a radius of 50. so basically we have uh, incremented i as we want to move our circle in a horizontal direction so with a delay of 10 milli milliseconds and a clear device means on every iteration it will uh, generate a specific output and you will see a rotating circle in the screen on the screen so let's compile it the file is compiling, checking for errors or warning. There are zero errors and zero warning. This is a particular widget. As you can see that this particular code gives the output of a moving circle in a horizontal direction. So this circle will go till i equal to i less than 1000. So this will cross this particular widget and will stop. So as you can see that this was a output of the moving circle in a horizontal direction. Now, what if we need to uh, display the circle by moving in a vertical direction? So you just need to change the x coordinate. Rather than rather than i will be added in x coordinate, you need to add this i on y coordinate. Now, this particular code applet will show the moving circle in a vertical direction. So let's compile it and run it. Zero errors, zero zero warnings. 
so this particular widget so as you can see that this particular circle is going in a vertical direction and uh, i will also show the importance of clear device uh, particular particularly this clear device function uh, clear the output of each and every iteration so that a circle looks like moving circle in our output stream if we comment out this function clear device then it will not trace back the output it will show the continuous output so as you can see we can run this compile this it will be a continuous circle as you can see that this is a continuous circle the it is not clearing the previous outputs of previous iterations as you can see this but as we implement this particular clear device function it will show us the proper circle with the removing back the outputs of previous iterations as you can see this in this particular code okay so i hope that things are clear and precise enough the code is understandable enough uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video for getting more interesting stuff in technical domain please do subscribe to our channel my project ideas till then keep growing and keep exploring thank you so much